Jenny channel. My channel is all about fashion, travel, and lifestyle blog. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you what's in my bag. This is Gucci Hospit Mini 1955 in beige color. I brought this bag with me uh, to Bangkok trip and I'm really happy using this bag so far. It is in a very good size. Uh, it's not too big and it's not way too small. And I'm gonna show you what's inside this bag which is uh, the same what I bring along to Bangkok trip as well. And if you like bags review or boxing my bags video, don't forget to subscribe my channel by clicking this icon on your bottom right below here. Now let's get started. So most of the items is what I brought to Thailand during Thailand trip. Um, I'm using this strap because it's more comfortable. It is shorter. I mean, I adjust it to be pretty short because I prefer shorter strap. And this strap I use sometimes when I feel that uh, it should go well with my dressy outfit or something like that. Now let's see, take a look inside. So this is what inside the bag. Absolutely, because I go for, you know, on a trip. So this is my Thai passport. And then I have this wallet. You know, this wallet is really cute. I got this from Bali trip before COVID time. We went to Bali for a short trip during summer. And I found this little cute uh, wallet. I call it a wallet in like a local market in Bali in such a very affordable price. I love the boutique. I don't know whether it's called batik, batik kind of design, which is very like very local and very pretty in my opinion. They comes in several colors. So I got it in pink color and I use this as my Thai money wallet. So I separate from Thai and Singapore cash so all cash in this uh, wallet is all in Thai note so I put my Thai note in this wallet and then I also bring these um, my favorite wallet I use it as a wallet most of the time I don't really carry cash in Singapore I can carry um, cards and inside would be like uh, credit cards, MRT cards, and so on. Sometimes I put coins as well, but I rarely put cash because we usually cashless when I go uh, to for a shopping or going out for lunch or anything like that. And it's supposed to be a coin purse with you can put the cash slot over here and they have quite a few and I didn't really use it. So I just simply put my card inside this way. So it's easy for me to take in and take it out. But I love this mini um, coin purse from Louis Vuitton because it seems it still looks very very nice. I have this for I think more than a year already. I love this wallet because uh, it's not easily dirty. It looks very like you know not easy to get scratched as well because of the leather. The canvas leather of Louis Vuitton is very durable and. Another uh, point that I like is zip is very hard. <laughs> it's not easy to open, but however, it's not too difficult. But it's very, it has a feeling that this is so durable. And then I have the oil control films from Clean and Clear because uh, Thailand is really hot and hot all year round. Even in Singapore, it's not much different, but I feel Singapore is a little bit cooler because it rains a lot in Singapore. However, I still need this uh, oil control fan because my face is combination skin. So I have oily T-zone and then dry skin on the other part of my face. And this is my phone, uh, this is my iPhone and I have hand sanitizer. This is the free sanitizer that I got when I uh, went on the staycation in Singapore and then they give a small size, really cute mini size 
um, this is uh, alcohol hand sanitizer so I still using this package to refill more alcohol gel into uh, this package because it's really really small and it's just nicely fit in my bag so I really love the size and how uh, portable it is and then last two items that I have is this is my lipstick from Nude Sticks I really love this brand it comes in like very pretty shade and tone in the you know in nudish or nude orange nude pink I really love the shade so uh, for these nude sticks you can use for all over the fix actually as they stated here all over fakes bronze color um, I think my color is called sun's kissed so you can use it as a blush like a cream blush or use this as a lipstick for myself I use this as a lipstick this is not a full size this is the mini size that comes within one collection you know one gift box those kind of gift box kit so this is the shade and I give you a swatch so it's browage nudage orange I don't know how to describe it. it's not quite in pink undertone but it's more on the warm undertone and the last items in this bag is my favorite favorite <laughs> items this is a uh, poison some Singaporean friends sometimes ask me to buy this bag for them because they really love it. I love it too. This is like, uh, I don't know if they have English description over here. So they say the, it's, a, it's not quite a medicine, it's like a herbal sense when you feel nausea, when you feel unwell, you feel allergies, sneeze or anything like that. You can uh, uh, smell this and you feel like is more relaxed is feel better uh, i use it every time you know during work when i feel like oh headache about the cases that i handle so i smell this a bit and then it feel like oh a bit more relaxing and um very calm so they put english description over here as the leaves of nasal uh, congestion so when sometimes you have a nose block or feel like sneeze allergy I use this as well so it has a bit of the mental at the same time with a bit of the herbal um, scent so here you can smell it or you can drop a drop but I seldom use this part this is a drop on like whatever where, where you want to it to be so it might, it might give a bit of heat it may feel a little bit hot but um, it's feel really good but I seldom use this I most of the time I smell it now let's talk a little bit about this bag it's it's one of my all-time favorite bags that I have been using a lot during the past year after I bought it uh, last year I think it's around my birthday uh, in July last year and I keep using it very often when I travel I don't want to travel with the bag that is way too small because I cannot keep much of the stuff I still need my passport with me I still need some cards with me I need my phone I need a few stuff so a uh, super mini bag doesn't really work during the travel so I need some medium size although this one is you can call it mini too but I have even smaller uh, this size the space in the back is very decent you can put the bigger size phone it doesn't uh, no problem at all I don't have a bigger size phone still like no problem you have bigger than mine it's still no problem and one more thing about this bag that I really love is the leather so if you look closely at the leather you will see that it's not quite a smooth leather they have a bit of the pattern you know like a leather pattern over here and some shiny coat which it's really durable I scratch it several times and there is no uh, no, no scratching defect that is obvious actually I don't quite spot that much unless like here maybe some dirt that is easier to move remove but other than that I see this bag is 
pretty in great condition and I really love it. In Thailand, there are some moments, you know, some day that there's a uh, rain and when it rain in the rain you see like a shower it's not like heavy rain i don't feel very worry i just wipe it off and that's it i let it dry so it won't leave a rainy stain anything that i have to worry over the bag and you know it's not the cheap so the price that i pay for so i don't have to baby this bag much that's why i really really love this bag another thing that i love this bag is is not loud sometimes i want to go for travel and i don't want to be you know like uh, showing that i'm carry gucci there's no logo let's only have this pretty um hardware over here if you love gucci if you are in the community of luxury brands of bags you would know this or if you're not, you're outside, you're not really into brands, you might not notice this, or you might know, or you might not know. So it's like, um, it's not a loud bag. It's very quiet, it's very low key bag. There's no logo anywhere, anywhere here, unless you open, and then here you go, Gucci. So it's inside here. So it's not a loud bag. When you go for travel and you want to feel like secure, you know, that you want to show people that you carry branded bag, I have money and all that for your security sometimes in some country. Um, this bag might be a great option as well. Or unless you want to go to the place and you want to be a bit louder, change to this strap. This strap is very Gucci, although there's no like G U C C I in the strap any anywhere, but it is it is very unique Gucci color. When you wear it together with this bag, change the strap into this color, it is it feel Gucci in my opinion. I keep interchange around or even my outfit a bit like if I wear like pants or something that's not so girly I go for this one a bit dressy I go for this strap so it's give a feel like a variety of the look you want to wear another thing to note about this bag there's no lock here at this part I thought it's a magnetic or there's some lock or anything but no you have to push it down in that's how it works and that's it although it's easy when you open in and out it's feel a little bit not quite secured but not too overly you know like not secure at all is you still have like closure and you press it inside but when people like push it up it seems like pretty easy because there's no like magnetic or any mechanism that help to lock it so it's a little bit uh, less security in a sense but when I travel I don't see that's a big problem as long as my bag is closed it's not open types of bag it is fine with me now let's talk about the cons of this bag I found two cons so far that I have been using the bag most of the time I love it and I have majority of the pro that I can talk about previously but the cons there's no lock as I mentioned earlier you have to press it and what do you get from pressing it deep and um, leave it for a while there will be a pressing pressure over here I don't know in the long term will it go away or I usually when I keep I keep it like this I don't really keep and push this inside because I see there's a pressed uh, in this area both of the area when I put it too long so they start to show more obvious so when I keep it I remove this one out the second corn that I found is here you know I used it a lot but uh, in a year this is my wear and tear experience you will see a dark spot here but what caused this on both sides is the hardware the hardware is crashing this at first I was like eh, what's happening but it because the hardware when you carry it you will see that this point here 
touching this area all the time when you carry and it's cursing this dark color on your bag other than that i love it i really really love this i have no plan to sell it i still want to keep this in the long term and that's all about what's in my bag i hope you like this video if you like with this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel in the bottom right over here thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next video bye